Grace and peace to you at this holy season of Christmas and Advent. My memories in my early years were of being at school during the Christmas Advent season and every day gathering around the Christmas tree. It seemed to be a Christmas tree that was about 20 feet tall. In reality, it was probably from 8 to 10 feet tall. And each day, we would recite the Christmas story. And it came to pass in those days that a ruling went out from Caesar Augustus that all the world should be taxed. And everyone went to his own country, each one to his own country. And so the story went in the Gospel of Luke, that wonderful story that tells us of the birth of the Christ child in the city of Bethlehem. The first people to hear that good news were gathered in darkness as they did every night of their lives. They were people on the fringe of society. It was the shepherds who first heard the good news when the angel appeared to tell them and then a host of angels broke through the darkness of that moment and shared the good news of Jesus Christ's birth, bringing light. We're told a host of angels appeared and glory shone around them. The good news was that the Prince of Peace had come. Even today, Christ comes bringing light into darkness. Where's the darkness in our world today? In our world, half of the people who inhabit this earth, nearly three billion people, live on less than two dollars a day. One billion children live in poverty. Every single day, 30,000 children die of diseases for which there are known cures. That means that just in these moments as I've been talking to you, six children have died. Christ comes to bring light even into these devastating circumstances. Are you aware that the United Methodist Church has partnered with the United Nations Foundation, the Gates Foundation, the National Basketball Association, and others to join in the Nothing But Nets campaign? We have raised millions and millions of dollars to buy bed nets for children and others in Africa to wipe out the disease of malaria, to prevent infections from malaria. That is only one example of the way that Christ's light shines in the darkness today. There are other circumstances in life in which we know darkness. You know darkness in your own lives. Broken relationships, illnesses. Some of you in this past year have lost loved ones. Some of you may even be struggling yourselves with an incurable disease. In other circumstances, there are people who are suffering from job loss or no job at all. Again, Christ offers light. Each one of you could give testimony to the ways in which even in the midst of the most devastating times in your life, Christ has been there for you. And in our communities we see much darkness. And yet again, our churches are reaching out, bringing the light of Christ. After school programs, child care, homeless shelters, the uh, angel food ministries, 
and other kinds of food programs, light is breaking out because of Christ and Christ's power to work in our lives. In this season, when we remember that the light of the world has come, we need to remember as well that Christ shines through us and we are called to be light bearers. The light has come into the darkness and the darkness will never put it out. May it be so.